What's up guys, it's your boy Will. In this video, we're gonna be going over the top three Amazon FBA tools that I use to run my Amazon business. Now, these three tools, guys, are a must have for me because they save me a lot of time. And you guys know time is money. These tools just make running the business so much more efficient and so much more smooth. And you know, whatever's gonna save me time, whatever's gonna automate something that I would have to do manually, I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna show you how all these tools function, uh, how much they cost, all the details that you need to know and all the links are going to be in the description as well and without further ado let's get right into this video guys so we're in my computer right now as you can see we're on amazon.com and the first tool that i'm going to be showing you is this one right here it's called ds amazon quick view extended it is only 19.99 and it's a one-time purchase guys so it's definitely worth it but for you guys to see it in action let me just type in a random product i'll type in mouse pad and you'll see it in action as soon as I start scrolling down, boom, right here, look. Without even having to click on the product and scroll down, I already see the sales rank right here, which you know you need if you're selling on Amazon to detect or to see the sales volume of a product, right? So the sales rank is brought to the front right here, so you don't even have to click on the product listing. You can see the ASIN right here. It tells you if Amazon is selling on this same listing because if you're doing Amazon wholesale or FBA or whatever it is you're doing, private label, um, you really don't want to sell things that Amazon is selling. I mean, you still can, but it's a little harder sometimes. You know, they they don't let go of the buy box. So for you experienced Amazon sellers, you know that. So um, yeah, they bring they bring up the ASIN for you. They bring up the sales rank, and if you have Keepa, which is another tool I'm gonna talk to you about that lets you see the price history and sales rank history of a product, is directly integrated with this tool. So you don't even have to click on the product to see this graph right here. So this tool right here is all about efficiency because um, imagine guys, if you didn't have this tool to get the sales rank and everything, you would literally have to click on the product. So I'm just click on it to show you, scroll down below the product description and then the sales rank is right here. And uh, you know, the ASIN you would get right here as well, or you can get it right here. And um, all this valuable information, guys, you would have to click on every single product to see that. Whereas with this tool, I can see it for all the products on this page just by scrolling down. And if you hover over the picture, it pulls up the extra information as well, such as, you know, the product dimensions, item weight, brand name, item model number, all that cool stuff. OK, so DS Amazon Quick View Extended, definitely a great tool. All the links to these tools will be in the description down below. But let's get into the next tool. So for the next tool, it's called Keepa. It lets you see the price history and sales rank history of a product. You can find that directly under the product image. It'll be right here. And guys, this tool is mandatory because you don't want to catch yourself ordering a product in bulk and then realizing that, you know, the price that the product is at right now isn't the price that it's going to be forever. You know, sometimes a product will be listed at $19.99 right now. And you may think that if you're sourcing the product for $10 and you're selling it for $19.99 on Amazon, you have that $10 margin. But in actuality, uh, $19.99 is a high price for that product. And it's actually going to go back to $12.99, which is the original price that it usually sells for soon. And then you might only have a $3 margin. And that might not even be profitable for you when it comes to minusing the Amazon fees, fulfillment fees, et cetera, if you're doing FBA, okay? So Kiba lets you see the price history and sales rank history of a product. Um, I can go up to ba up back to like a year or all time. I'll just go back to a year and I can see that in September or in August, it spiked. The sales rank was very high, which um, you don't want. You, the lower the sales rank, the better. But um, you can kind of see right now it's the lowest it's ever been. And the price is at eleven ninety nine. But you see this consistency right here. You see how it's so straight right here. And if I go back all... It's very straight. You can see that the actual price is $8.99. This price usually in 90% of the time sells at $8.99. And then you can see that it kind of spiked. It's kind of spiked right now at $14.69, $14.99 around that price range. So now I know as an Amazon seller not to expect that this product will sell at this $14 range for a long time. I can expect to maybe make some profits, some good profits right now, but I should be prepared to still be profitable when this product goes down to back to its original price, which is 899. 
This is why Keepa is very important, guys. So Keepa, like I said, you'll find it right under the product image. In, and it's $15 a month, I think. Uh, they might have lowered or raised the price. I don't know. But if you have the Amazon Quick View extended uh, Chrome extension as well, it actually integrates right, right into it. So you don't have to click on the product image or the product listing to access Keepa, which is very, very useful, guys. Um, instead of having to click on it and go below the product image, you can just hover over Keepa history and boom, you got it right here. You can hover over price history and boom, you got the price history. And Keepa actually has even more data. Um, if you click on data right here, it'll give you the buy box statistics and product details. So let's just let the product details load and we can see that the sales rank right now is 66. Uh, the 30 day average is around 100, 90 day average is around 150. We can see that Amazon's 90 day average, you know, what they usually sell it on, it's $16.99. We can see a lot of things, the buy box, what it's currently at, what its average is. We, it even tells you the eBay current and the eBay 90 day average, guys. Keepa is so helpful. Um, it even has the UPC right here. And what you can do with the UPC is, um, let's say you're doing product research and you see that there's a product that you would like to source and that you, you see it's doing well, you can actually copy this UPC right here, search it on Google, see what type of suppliers are sourcing this product that you can source from. Or if you already have suppliers that you work with, you can send them this UPC right here because the UPC is unique to every product. So you can send, send them this UPC and they can quickly type this in, in their system and see if they have this product in stock in their warehouse. And if they do, then boom, you know, that's a money maker right there and you can start selling that product. So um, Keepa is a very good tool, guys. I definitely recommend you get it. Like I said, all the links will be in the description. But now for the last tool that I'm going to be showing you, uh, it's called Scan Unlimited. And guys, I cannot live without this tool. Now, there's many ways to sell on Amazon. The way I sell on Amazon is called Amazon Wholesale. I basically make wholesale accounts with popular brands, you know, Nike, Adidas, JVC, Sony, brands like that, brands that people know. I got Fiji in front of me right here. So brands like Fiji, I open up wholesale accounts with them and I basically become their distributor. Um, they sell me their products wholesale and then I sell it retail on Amazon and I make that margin in between. And a lot of times these suppliers, you know, they get a lot of inventory in like, they have a lot of stuff in stock. They have a lot of products, right? Especially if you're working with uh, distributors mainly like ones that get tons of products from different types of brands. Um, when you're dealing with specific brands like Fiji and Nike, it's easier to, you know, work with them. But when you're dealing with people like, for example, I'm gonna open up my email and you'll see when you're dealing with suppliers, like for example, Entertainment Earth, they're a very popular supplier. Uh, they're not the best supplier because so many Amazon sellers know about them, but you know, they do have some, some hits. Okay. And, uh, Trust me, I've made money with Entertainment Earth before, so they're, they're not as bad as people say. But as you can see, they emailed me eight hours ago. They got all these products in stock today. And um, they actually keep all their inventory in a CSV file, which is what most suppliers do. And I'll show you what, what one of these CSV files looks like. Let me see, EE right here. So this is a CSV file I pulled on April 22nd. And this is everything that they have in stock in the warehouse. The ASINs are all right here, the UPCs, how much you know I'm paying for each one, how much they're selling for on Amazon, it's all right here. But guys, imagine me having to go through these one by one to see which ones are actually profitable to sell on Amazon, which ones don't have a lot of competition. You know That would take forever, or you would have to hire a VA to do it. But what Scan Unlimited does, is it, it actually lets you upload the CSV file into their system and they do all that work in seconds. Um, I think I paid $20 a month for Scan Unlimited, but let me show you, I already scanned this exact CSV file for this video, but let me show you what it does. So if I click on it right here, it'll show you this exact CSV file that I just showed you, but it's scanned. So boom, Keepa's integrated with this as well. So I got the Keepa chart right here. The picture of each product, if I just hover over this will pop up. I have the UPC right here. I have the ASIN right here brand, sales rank, all these dimensions, price right here, the fees and everything. And then right here is the vital part of this tool, the net profit. It calculates the net profit for every single one of these products for you. So you don't have to do that one by one. 
So I'm gonna click on net profit again. So it sorts up all my profitable products at the top. And as you can see, this one, I'm making $50 a unit. This one, I'm making $13 a unit. This one, I'm making $7 a unit. This one, I'm making $6 a unit. And it has the ROI too, if you're more of a percentage type of person. And if you hover over the calculator, it lets you know the math, it calculates all the fees for you. So if I were to sell this product for $21.99, the FBA fee would be $3.31, then the referral fee would be $3.30. And then my cost from me buying it from Entertainment Earth wholesale would be $8.84. So I would be left with $6.54 profit per unit, which is good. You know, imagine I order a thousand units, I make around six grand profit, more than that, seven grand, okay? So this is why this tool is great. It lets you see all the profits up front without you having to do that grunt work of literally looking through every single product. And I don't know about you guys, but I have multiple accounts with multiple suppliers and they send me CSV files literally almost every day because they get new inventory every day. So I'm constantly using Scan Unlimited, constantly uploading new CSV files and searching through you know, what's profitable and what could work, what could be my next bulk order to sell on Amazon. So I hope you guys like this video. I tried to get straight to the point on every single tool because I know I don't like watching long videos. You know, I just like giving that value straight up and I like receiving that value straight up when I'm watching videos on YouTube. So if you guys like this video, definitely give me a like, subscribe if you haven't, join the ED family. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll I answer all my comments. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. And the links to all these tools are in the description. I hope you found some value in this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.